Okay, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's toasty. Yep. And I'm wearing the wrong shirt. I'm wearing a like, like a- Nice thick woven. Yeah, because I thought I had put, I'm wearing the wrong clothes, period. Oh my goodness. Yeah, jeans. jeans I'm like, what are you, and, what are you well, doing? Because I put stuff in the laundry and then I put it in the dryer and I didn't start the dryer. Oh shoot. So, so you had to go with what was in the closet? I had to go with <laughs> my, uh, the stuff that was folded that I don't use very much because it's hot. It's a hot day today. It's very toasty. It's uh, probably 80 something. Yeah, it's probably the low to mid 80s, which if there was no humidity would 81. be fine. Yeah, that's a, uh, it's just very, it's very stale and stagnant feeling. Buddy, you're too loud. <laughs> I know you're hot. You're, oh, we're gonna have thunderstorms. Tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Interesting. Hi, bud. He's, he's just joining us. Interesting. Hi, everyone. Just welcome to our random conversation here. <laughs> I'm trying to find the... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying... It's 51% humidity, but I'm trying to find the dew point to see mm -hmm. what the water vapor's like. Hi. Hey, bud. Hi, mister. What do you got in your... Nothing. Okay, well, we didn't record yesterday because... I was at the dentist. Yeah, at the dentist. Um, I had to go to Lowe's and get some parts for today. And I did that later in the evening after you got back from the so, dentist. With the car, yeah. With the truck, yeah. We only have one vehicle for the two of us. Yeah. And I didn't go to the dentist with her because I didn't want to sit and wait for her stuff to get done because I had work to do in the house. Um, Levi, this is not a good spot for you because just, you are gonna breathe on me. Just go lay down, Sunny. Sunny, 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 <laughs> just go lay down. <laughs> it's like, fine, I'll go oh, under my tree. Good idea, buddy. Good idea. Feels good with the breeze. Uh -huh. Okay, so you went to Lowe's. Yeah, I went to Lowe's. I had to get a, a 20 ton bottle jack. Nice. I had to get one that was whew, low profile I had gone to, over the weekend, I had gone to Tractor Supply because I had a huge Black Friday, Black Spring Friday or Spring Black Friday deal. Hmm. And they had bottle jacks for $30 off each. And so I got two 20 ton bottle jacks. And those happened to be just an inch and a half too tall for what I needed to use it for today. <coughs> I knew that was coming, sorry. It's okay, sun's out. Sun's out. <laughs> um, so Lowe's had one that was just the right size for what I needed today. So did that last night. Okay. <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> You're all oh, over. Why, why we didn't film yesterday. Yeah, why we didn't film yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, you stayed home to keep Work working on the, on the house while I had my dentist appointment to have my tooth extracted mm -hmm. because they were going to do a root canal like a month and a half ago. And when I got there, they said, well, you have no opposing tooth. So do you want to spend this much money to keep the tooth that you're not using or do you want to extract it for this much money? And I was like, to take out the tooth and of course she couldn't do it herself so I had to then wait almost a full month to get an appointment mm. to have my tooth extracted and of course like everything it didn't go smoothly so it uh it took like a good solid 30 minutes for her to get my tooth out of actual trying to pull and she had to end up slicing it into three pieces to finally get it out so it was it was quite the ordeal yesterday yuck uh, it was not fun and it still a little tender and swollen but it's not too bad it didn't hurt while it was doing it. It's just that annoying pressure mm. of, you know, having somebody in your yanking at you. I mean, my head was doing this. <laughs> You're a bobblehead. I was a bobblehead. So it was, it was fun. So what did we do this weekend? What did we do this weekend? Well, I, let's see, Sunday I worked, Sunday, no, Monday. That was Monday I worked on the house. Just Sunday, I don't know, honey. What did we do this weekend? <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea what we did. Um... I didn't do too terribly much. I did some prep work like I normally do. Um, made applesauce for the first time. Where is it? Because I had one spoonful and now it's gone. It's in the kit. It's in the refrigerator. Oh. In the big mason jar. Okay. I had some today for lunch. Oh. And I didn't. I know. Because you don't know where it's at. <laughs> it's in my fridge. <laughs> we have two fridges and 
it's a his and hers because we like very different things. It's not really a his and hers. It's a wherever things fit. It's the cooking stuff goes in mine mm -hmm. because I cook and the stuff that's already prepared and the leftovers goes in, mine. goes in his. Yeah. So <laughs> it's very much a. It's, it's, it's cooking and beer. Yeah, that's is. exactly what it is. <laughs> Cooking and beer and milk. And milk. Lots of milk and yogurt and <laughs> oh, yeah. all the dairy products that you eat. Yeah. It's pretty much you survive on dairy. I really do eat a lot dairy of dairy. Dairy and Oreos. <laughs> yeah, I need to stop eating those Oreos. Oh, speaking of stopping, I quit drinking soda. It has been four or five days not having a single soda. Now this is a this is a big statement, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> because she was saying that I survive on dairy. Yeah. She survived on soda. Yeah. That was your liquid. That was my liquid. I didn't drink water at all. I just drank soda. Yeah. It was bad. In fact, if, if she could have cooked with soda, she would have. <laughs> I, I have. Oh. I put it in barbecue sauces oh, and perfect, everything. Perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> you can put it in cakes. You can put it in all sorts of stuff. So yeah, so this weekend, we didn't do a whole lot. There was a lot of moving stuff around you moved some stuff from the carport to the barn, I think, or the house to the barn, house basically the barn. some Yeah, I did little, I did boards. Little, little stuff in the house, nothing real major. Mm -mm. I was doing a lot of what you call prep work, mm -hmm. measuring, taking levels on things, getting things ready to start taking out the floor joists, mm -hmm. which technically I started yesterday and technically I continue today, <laughs> but not the floor joists that I was thinking of. Oh, yeah. Not the ones that I exposed. Bruce. A new, a new floor joist that needed what to come out. What is that kind of bug? I don't know, I can't see. Oh, is it a bug? Yeah, it's, it just landed on my, I don't know if you guys can see it. It just landed on my glasses. It's a weird, it looks like a, um, what are those things in the ocean? Um, stingrays. Ooh. It looks like a stingray without a tail. What in the world is Isn't that? Isn't that weird? That is weird. <laughs> it just landed on my glasses. It's still there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's wind resistant. <laughs> <laughs> it's very aerodynamic, it, that, it was. that little guy. All right, so yeah. And then today I started collecting eggs. I have a five dozen fertilized egg order that uh, hopefully they will pick up on Friday is what the plan is. And the reason I had to start today is because I only have 10 of the hens in where they want three dozen. So that's gonna take, I told her I needed at least four days because one was broody, now a second one just went broody. I don't know what's going on, but it's these, these girls, I guess they're trying to get out of their system before summer, which is good, but we have a frizzle cochin that's broody. We have two salmon favorels that's, that are broody. Yep. We have a barnyard mix that's broody, where? the white girl. She went broody. She is. She sat for three solid days so okay, far. Okay, well, you got to add uh, two more to that mix because two are up there sitting very pooped out. Of the of the, of the, the barnyard barnyards. Mix. Yes. Okay, so we have three up there that are broody. Uh huh. Okay, we have one Brahma that's broody, dark Brahma, and we have two black Cochins that are broody. So we have nine broody girls right now. And we just broke two, three Osterlorps that were broody. We broke them, thankfully. And then I have a full- You will not be broody. I know. Well, we moved them. We didn't mean to break them. We just moved them so that they could be broody in an, in an area by themselves, because there was three of them and they were sitting on about 24 eggs. And so I wanted to get them out of the other groupings. And then I have, yeah, the incubators full. Well, do you well. want to talk about the Brahma Mama? The Brahma Mama. The Brahma Mama. Brahma Mama, speaking of the broody Brahma Mama, she hatched, at least one hatched out yesterday. So I was collecting eggs yesterday uh, because we have a new neighbor that just started working on his property and we went over to introduce, Nate had met him already, I had not met him. So we went over together to introduce me and brought him some fresh eggs. We did that Saturday. That's one, That's thing, one we thing we did Saturday, woo, weekend. <laughs> and so, I, and then, so we gave him some of our eggs. So I needed to go do another collection because our other neighbors were requesting some eggs. Which we did Sunday. Which we did, hey, we were egg delivery. We That's were, what we did this yeah. week. Mm -hmm. um, so I went up there and last night when I went to collect eggs for us, <laughs> I noticed that there was a baby chick. 
So it's one baby chick. baby chick. Super cute. And she is not letting, like she is feisty. So I put a little tiny food and water up there. I water yesterday just so the baby could have water. Where's the food one? I just put it up there just now. Oh, okay. Um, so it's in the it's in the brooding box or the nesting box, and then we have another nesting box where the other ones can lay, and they have been laying in the other ones. So we've got food and water up there uh, for them, just because right now the lip of the of the nesting box is about this big. Yeah, they won't if they jump out. They won't be. Able They'll to get have back a hard in. time getting back in. I was I was going to suggest, <clears throat> you know the, um, the that long one. The long one that just has the chicken. Mm -hmm net wire around it that mm -hmm. we move around. Let's just take that up there. Oh, the bo the box? Yeah, the box. Oh, okay. And then let's just put her in that with the with her eggs and the nesting box and the chick. Oh, to, and the nesting box? Yeah, to keep, her, well, unless, unless, I guess we could try to move her and the eggs and stuff, but yeah. basically confine, confine her yeah. up there so that way the chick can run around mm -hmm. and we have to worry about it because the chick can go through the netting to the other. That's true. And we don't want that. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're testing out, we have it. This is gonna be our first mama hatch out where we're trying, like where there's actually groups of birds. Normally it's a bit our free rangers yeah. and they've just self isolated or they've kind of went away from the group and then we gave them a small, like one of the AV2 ones, one of the small enclosures so that they had somewhere safe at night to go with their babies. But during the day, they would hang out kind of in parallel with the rest of the- Proximity. Yeah, they they weren't like right there. They would just be, they'd be kind of off a little bit from the rest of the group. But this one, it's in our triple hoop coop and it's in the first one. So that's a great point. I didn't even think about that is once they get out and are start to get mobile and, and curious, yep. they could and then eek. Yeah, they could get out of the confinement completely or go into a different run. With and then other roosters and other hens yeah. that may not be kind to little babies because yeah. they're not broody. Because right. they're right next to the Americanas. Actually, it's both ends because the Cochins are broody and the Brahmas are broody, but the Americanas are in the middle and they're not. Mm -hmm. So, okay, yeah, we'll have to think about how we're gonna do that because we're gonna have the same issue for the Cochins as well. We need more, uh, we need more tiny coops like the AV2 ones. Yeah. And we need a couple more hoop coops. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. I can build you the frame if you want to uh, put the netting around it. I can do that. The... The netting? Mm-hmm. The pain in the butt part yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The time consuming pain in the butt, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking we could build, uh, wanted to just a couple more of the cattle panel hoop coops. And that way, because that would be nice once they're done with this brooder for the ones we are hatching or the ones that I'm going to raise out till they're fully feathered and don't need heat anymore. It'd be nice to be able to do what we did last time where we had a hoop coop down here and we had all mm. the babies in there. Yeah. And then that way I can, ha they have a huge area, they get grass, we can still put heat in there if we need to. And I think that worked really well. Mm -hmm. And then we started, once they were big enough that we could tell the difference between male and female, I started separating them out and then I started advertising them as, you know, yeah. larger birds. I think that'll be good. Yeah. This is us brainstorming because we've- Oh, so yeah, speaking of brainstorming, um, I need to spray oh, the yeah. mold tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Tomorrow. And we have, a, I don't know, 500 chicks inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> there <laughs> is, 31 chicks inside that the house. That was close. Yeah, so I mean, close. I mean, if you, if you take the scale from zero to infinity, I was dead on. You were right there. I mean, <laughs> fraction. Fractional, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we need to take those guys out of the house, mm -hmm. at least for the- What about the incubators? In majority of the day, it's just the, it's just the odor. Okay. I, I don't think it's gonna- We just won't open. Yeah, it, the, they'll okay. be fine. It's just, I know that chickens are very sensitive with their yeah. lungs. Yes. So I need to, stuff. yeah, I need to spray tomorrow. Okay. So where can we put, we have three sets of, we have three ink brooders in there. We do. They- And I'm assuming we want to keep them separate. The, I can tell the difference between the Brahmas. So there's one brooder of purebreds and the other two are barnyard mix. Uh -huh. I don't right. care if we mix the barnyard mix up together. The only reason I separated them was size oh, okay. because of 
the brooders are so small, it was just... Yeah, give them more space. Give them more space, because um, they're only 33 gallons. So it's not like that nice big brooder that you built mm -hmm. where they have tons of room in there. Uh, so we can, we actually, we could use um, the box that we were talking about for the Brahma for tomorrow okay. and put one group in there. Okay. And I can use the long AV2 in yep. that's empty right now for the uh -huh. other group. And they can just be out here during the day because I think it's supposed to be in the 80s again. Okay. And that'll be fine for the time period as long as you do it early enough in the day so that when it starts to cool off, I can get them back inside into the brooder. Okay. I think that works. Okay. Yeah, it'll probably it'll probably be around this time that they can go back in. Oh yeah, this and is it's, plenty it's warm. Plenty warm, like even if tomorrow's not supposed to rain all day, is it? I think it's cloudy, but 80s. No, it's cloudy, today? cloudy to seven, cloudy and 78 degrees. 78, so and that's it's not going to cool down until it'll be 71 at five. Okay, if needed, we could always run an extension cord with heat if it gets chilly, but I think they'll be fine. They'll be fine. There's enough of them; they can lay down together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Done. Look at that brainstorming. Good. Good brainstorming. <laughs> it's good that I didn't move the box over. To the Brahmas, the, yeah. The Brahma. We need more. We need. We need more makeshift. Not makeshift. We need Just more temporary, temporary housing. Housing. Yeah. Because we always have a lot of movement of. Of yeah. And then we have sick through chickens, the stages. or we have mm -hmm. you know a separation of roosters or whatever. Yeah, it's just through the stages of the grow out. I think is the hardest of where you have to if you're trying to keep them separate. If if it, they don't have to be separate, then it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when you have multiple groups, you're trying to move all at the same time. It it gets. It does. No, get. I have the hiccups. Uh -oh. <laughs> it gets a little cumbersome when because right now we have. Yeah, because we have the ones that are growing out. We have four, five, five in that one, in that brooder, or AV2 one. We have the hens that we separated that are no longer broody in that AV2 one. We have one empty, so we only have two empty enclosures right now, period. Right. That can be, confi like, that we can yeah. close up. Yeah, because the chicks are too small for netting. Right. So... We can't just put netting around them and say, hey, run free. Yeah. Because they will. They will run free. <laughs> run free. <laughs> and be like, ah. <laughs> if we had the, if we had the, the shocker knot. Hi, sir. Net, netting, where it has little fine mesh at the mm -hmm. bottom, then we could, but. Yeah. We don't. But. Cool. Yeah. And, okay. Well, let's see. Oh. Oh. Did we did we find the results of the poll? You put a poll out last night. I did. Um, the majority, the 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 winner winner chicken dinner was tractor 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 news. Okay. That's what most people want to know about. There is news on the tractor. Uh, the second one was home updates, like house, like project, okay. like where we're at. Uh -huh. The next one was what we're doing outside of homesteading, just us in general, I guess, more personal type stuff. Let's go to that one really quick. Oh boy. What are we doing outside of homesteading? Very little. I, exactly. I was yeah. just thinking today like... When I put that up there, I was like, well, I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> you put it as an option. I put it as an option. I was thinking today... We'll think about it. <clears throat> about how we used to go boating a lot or camping a lot. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, just our weekends would be full of adventure. Yeah. Because we could pack up the dogs with us and go. Yeah. And... Not so much. No, not so much anymore. Now that we have this and we have all the animals and we don't have a farm sitter and we have two dogs that don't travel well. Mm -hmm. It's just very we, different. We really don't even get out and do stuff. Like I've been wanting to go over to Sean's for months now, six, seven, eight months now. Yeah, just to, just to hang out, see Henry. Mm -hmm. Like he's, I think he's like 15 years old now. Yeah. And I haven't seen him for ages. Yeah, last month he turned 15. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. you know, zero to infinity. Right. Spot on. You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, we don't even don't even do that. Like our our outing is, hey, let's go grocery shopping. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go let's to Lowe's. Go Lowe's. <laughs> we do call that date night, though. No, we don't. We did, remember, when we were at Lowe's and we're like, oh, it's a date. And oh, we would joke once, around because once, yeah. we were, it was a couple times, because we would end up like on a on a Friday night, it's like go to Lowe's and go to like 
grab something fast food or something while we're in town. I was like, oh, date night. Yeah. <laughs> we're splurging. <laughs> Go to our favorite Mexican restaurant. And yep. Yep. <laughs> get there. We're kind of boring. Like. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was like, you're not boring. You're so cool. So mm, much. I don't think so. He's running away now. He's like, he was like, he's trying to find his ladies. They're all gone. I know. He's not, he's not a good, um, he's not doing a good job as a free range rooster. He's like, where are my ladies? He's like, man alive. I've got some of the most independent girls. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't know what to do. There's only like, I think Jenny really likes him and she hangs out with him. She was just by him, but she stayed over there eating when he ran off. But outside of Jenny, really, they're all... They're very independent. They're, I mean, I can see there's two or three underneath the RV hanging out. There's been a couple just around us. There's a couple under the tree right there, and the rest are... Yeah, they're just... They're like, we don't need no rooster. So I really have just debated taking a rooster out of that flock completely. Yeah. Because we don't... We're not... You know, we don't need to hatch out any other eggs mm -hmm. we've got. And they're so dispersed, it's not like the rooster's gonna be able to protect them all. Right, exactly, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's two right here behind us. I mean, they're just, they're all over the place. I think there's a couple on the hill behind the house. They're, and they're like, they've always been like that with every rooster we've had. It's just if they like the rooster a little bit more, they hang out with them. Yeah. But this poor guy, he doesn't have a chance. Okay, so tractor news. Yep. That's one of the things that they wanted to hear. They, they want to see what we got. I, I know that they want to see. I, I'm aware of that. They want to prove that we actually got a tractor. Oh. Well. They're like, what is this tractor you speak of? <laughs> Does it actually exist? Excuse me, Kinsley. You just, okay. Oh, look, there she goes. Um, I'm going to be doing a formal, the Kramer <laughs> Life video on my tractor. You, oh, it's your tractor. It is my tractor. Okay. Yes. Um, and... Yeah, so I'm gonna do a, a, a video on it, and I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. You have to go and watch that video, but I can tell you that'll be coming soon because we finally got our bucket today. Like today we got our bucket. We got our bucket. We've had so, it for like two hours, if that. It's yeah. still on the pallet. It, it is still on the pallet. <laughs> I can um, see it right there. Up to this point, we've only had forks. Mm -hmm. I've been using the tractor quite a bit to move things around and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. It is so much, it is funny how my mind shifts on, hey, I can move things mm -hmm. without having to physically, move, physically things. <laughs> move things. Like yesterday, I had to put the stairs on the east side of the house mm -hmm. back onto the porch because we had taken them off for doing the French strain mm -hmm. and we never put them back on. And I was dreading putting them back on because they're very heavy. Yeah. And both of us, you have bad back, I have a bad back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a second, I have forks. So I picked it up with the fork and mm -hmm. I actually put it in place exactly the tilt that it needed mm -hmm. and screwed it into place and put the forks down and backed up. And it's like, oh man, that was super easy. Yeah. That was yeah. super easy. So We're anyway. excited. <clears throat> yeah, um, got the bucket. So I'm gonna be doing a formal video on it. I can tell you it is not your normal tractor. Why would Gar we ever do like a standard normal it is, Kubota it is, John Deere? It mm -hmm. is not something <laughs> That is normal, so I'm not gonna just say, hey, this is what it is. It's gonna be a video. And then we can talk about it more if you want to. What else, house update? I think I kinda, I mean. You, I, I mean, we try to update when we can. Yeah, I'll be doing another video on that soon. Um, I started removing the floor joists, which that's big. Yeah. Big yeah. and determined um, I'm gonna be using so I was trying to figure out what kind of subfloor to use. If I was just gonna use like uh, three quarter inch plywood, or if I was gonna use OSB. And I've been recommended by multiple people to use Advantech, which is basically OSB, tongue and groove OSB, that is uh, waterproof. Mm. And so for, con for new construction, it's great because it can get rained on and it doesn't swell and your edges don't swell and you don't have to sand it down. Um, but it's moisture resistant, so that'll be helpful for yeah. just the everything yeah. that we have going on. Our crazy wet dog right here. Yeah, I mean, and the flooring that we're putting down is 100% waterproof anyway. Right. But it'll be, it'll be great. So that way if water does get through mm -hmm. the flooring, it's not going to swell it up and, and ruin it. Anyway, that's the update on that one. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. 
we can talk and I mean yeah, we'll we'll know. think of some other things for what we do off off the homestead or other thoughts. We'll go do something and tell you about it. <laughs> there you go. We'll we'll find something. We'll uh, try to get creative. No, I mean like there's some stuff that I've been researching or like interests. I think it's more like that, like not just homesteading relating, but is there mm. other things that we're interested in or doing or? Yeah, well. More so. M mom, my mom, mm -hmm. she's coming out at the end of May. Yep. And I know we'll, we'll probably go out and do stuff. Yep. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, we'll have lots of updates then. In the general area, there is a giraffe that has brown spots, the very first of its kind. That's brown spots? Uh-huh. Huh. Or no, it's, was it brown spots or white spots? Brown spots. What do they normally, normally have, have brown. They have white lines. Yeah, I don't, there was some sort of, I'm just trying to remember now, there's some sort of giraffe that was rare. Rare, <laughs> the first of its kind, a certain color. It's somewhere in the area at some zoo around here. Yeah, okay. And then like a month later, it was the, the very first ever to have that color. Hmm. And then like a month later, some place in South Africa, a giraffe had the same. Oh. So weird. Yeah, and then you were telling me also that somewhere in East Tennessee, somebody spotted a group of white, white wild turkeys. Wild turkeys, yes. Yeah. Yeah, which apparently is another rarity. Rare. Yeah. 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 So the breeze feels good. It does feel really good. All right. I think we're at like, you know, 75 minutes. I'm going with your exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 26 minutes and 50 seconds. Yep. All right. It's a very long video. Okay. Are we done? Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> We're kicking you off the homestead. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Maybe. We'll invite you back. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that was good.